In Costa Rica, the Rincón de la Vieja volcano, one of the five largest volcanoes in the country, erupted. The eruption caused a real panic among the locals. Inside the volcano there are many craters, fissures and thermal springs. There was a roar and rumble throughout the area for several days. Earthquakes and vibrations of up to 3.5 magnitude were recorded. As media reports, the ash column rose to a height of more than 2 kilometers. The height of the volcano itself is 1,916 meters. No data on damages or injuries have been received so far. The volcano previously erupted in June 2021. A very large number of volcanoes have recently awakened or reactivated, causing bewilderment among many volcano scientists. The largest wildfires in Canadian history, the army will join the fight. The armed forces will be sent to the Canadian province of Nova Scotia, which is currently experiencing the largest wildfires in its history. This year's wildfires have burned more than 2,700,000 hectares in Canada, an area equivalent to more than 5 million soccer fields. This is more than 10 times the average area usually burned at this time of year over the past decade. As of today, 214 fires are ongoing, 93 of which are out of control, authorities say. And it is Nova Scotia that is experiencing the most difficult times in the history of wildfires. Provincial authorities are hoping that the involvement of military personnel will support firefighters working around the clock to protect communities in the province from the blaze. The situation remains dire across the country with about 10,000 residents evacuated from Quebec the day before. A total of more than 30,000 people across Canada have been displaced by the fires. Heavy rain across parts of Japan killed one person, left two missing and injured dozens more, authorities said, with thousands of people issued evacuation warnings. The inundation was caused by the remnants of former Typhoon Mawar, downgraded to a tropical storm. A rescue team in central Aichi region's Toyohashi, where the highest level evacuation alert was issued, found a man approximately in his 60s in a submerged car but he was later confirmed dead. In western Wakayama, where several rivers burst their banks, officials said they had resumed the search for a man and a woman missing in the region. A total of six people were seriously injured and 24 suffered minor injuries as of morning. Due to the slow movement to the northeast, heavy rainfall takes a long time hovering, over the same place. At present, the typhoon has weakened to the level of a tropical storm and passes southeast of the main Japanese island of Honshu. We should add that Typhoon Mavar was one of the earliest super typhoons, category 5 hurricanes, of the season in this part of the Pacific Ocean in the history of meteorological observations. Ankara, the capital of Turkey, was flooded as a result of heavy rain with thunderstorms and hail. Streets and squares were flooded and traffic was disrupted. The water level rose in Kechioran, Kankaya and Yenemehale, causing material damage, especially to homes and offices on the first floors. In the Jenimahale area, water even filled the second floors of residential buildings and poured out through windows and balconies. Underpasses in Ghazi district were completely flooded. There is no information about casualties and fatalities as a result of the flooding so far. According to Ankara Mayor Mansur Yavash, 4,140 emergency workers and 1,400 vehicles were involved in eliminating the consequences of the flood. 